Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Fansite webinar. Today's topic is the restless mind. I have decided to share my mission statement. The reason is, some people are asking me how much money I'm getting by doing all these webinars. And they know that is I have done the past four years more than some 125 webinars. They are on the YouTube. And they think that they know that is last year is more than 10,000 the YouTube views. They think that, okay, from the YouTube, I must be getting money, a lot of money. So they think that my motivation, why am I doing this one? It is because there is money. So I'm getting some financial rewards. So I thought I will explain it clearly. I'm not getting even a single penny. And I'm not doing this for making money. So my mission statement. My mission is to boost the physical and mental well-being of the public through my webinars by donating, I have underlined that word, by donating my time, knowledge, and skill. No other hidden agenda. But in this process, I get immense satisfaction of giving back to this society. This morning I had a talk with, this evening I had a talk with Roy G. He's here. So, more than money, when you get some kind of a satisfaction of serving this society, that I consider, that is invaluable, priceless. <clears throat> the universe was born restless and has never since been still. The French painter. That is a picture of the tsunami. We know the nature is all is not always quiet. It is not restful. Cyclone, earthquake, tsunami, flooding. All this nature. Restlessness, it is there. And we are part of the nature. If the ocean is getting restless, obviously, we, every animal, will be affected by the changes in the nature. Look at the beach, very restful. And you know, Many tourists, millions of tourists, they go to different beaches for relaxation. That gives them a serenity, a feeling of serenity. But the very same nature can become restless, then forget about it. Dangerous. If the sea is agitated, it is dangerous. Now comes the analogy, so our mind. If the mind is agitated, mind is restless, and if you don't know how to manage that one, that is dangerous. Is this clear? If it is clear in the chat box, put C. Because I'm trying to make sure that it help you understand the need and necessity for this talk. Sandosh, thank you. Okay. Always before I choose a topic, I try to ask a couple of questions to myself. Is this topic relevant for me? First and foremost thing, is this topic relevant for me? And have I experienced restless mind? Or do I feel restless at times? The answer, yes. Now, in this chat box, please tell me whether this topic is relevant for you, if it is relevant, put R. Restless 
If it is relevant, put R, my dear friend. R, thank you. Bye. -bye. Only one person? What happened to the others? Okay, Rajmaji. Okay, good. Yeah. Purpose of this webinar? Understand the term restless mind. Know the impact of restless mind on our health. Lastly, learn how to manage restless mind. In the formal education, this is what I always talk about. In the schools, the colleges, do they teach you or talk about restless mind? Do they teach you how to control or manage restless mind? No. Do you agree? If you agree, put A. Put A because this is something what we really need for Royce Range. Thank you. What we really need for a happy, peaceful life, we don't learn from the formal education. But these are absolutely required, required. And because we don't learn, we don't know how to manage. And many people fall sick. Mental health problems, emotional health problems, physical health problems, they are the consequences of restless mind. There are plenty of books on restless mind, hectic restless mind, in a valley of this restless mind, taming the restless mind. This webinar is based on FEQT. Facts. I'll be sharing facts. Facts, facts, facts. Then experience from my own personal and professional life. How I managed when I became a victim of restless Quotations. Reading and collecting quotes is my favorite hobby. I have a personal collection of more than 40,000 quotations collected since 1980. And reading those quotations, they stimulate my thinking. And I have come up with my own quotes. I have my own quotes. I have a collection of nearly 500 quotes. And lastly, thoughts. My own thoughts. Definition of restless mind. A constantly wandering mind, chasing thoughts or ideas. Have you understood this definition? If you understood, put you. Because I don't want to proceed on the basis of assumption because I have found that sometimes people do find it difficult to understand. Then I take time to explain that one. Yes, Roy Chirianji, explain. If there's no point in my just giving a talk without helping the audience, Rashkumarji, thank you. Audience, understand. They should get a clear picture. In Bhagavad Gita, it says, whenever and wherever the restless and unsteady mind wanders, one should bring it back and continually focus it on this self. My own quote, thoughts and emotions arising out of fear, anxiety, anger, hate, and greed will create a restless mind. Agree? Do you agree? If you agree, put A. Yes, Antony Putan Burgilji, thank you. Santosh. Roy Chirianji, thank you. Ten operants behind a restless mind. The word operant means the factors or causes behind a restless mind. One fear, two anger, three hate, four worry, five vengeance. This is revenge, uncertainty. These days, 
these days uncertainty job insecurity especially the software engineers mm -hmm. suddenly a news comes layoff from amazon google 5000 employees now the mind becomes restless hey what will happen will i lose my job and if i lose my job what about all these uh, my financial obligations mortgage everything so instead most of the they are constantly in restless mind my neighbor here in the apartment complex he is from tamil nadu the past one month because last week when i talked to him i came to know he has been suffering from anxiety depression his mind is continuously restless and he stopped even going to the gym and most of the activities is cut off most of the time worries 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 that's what is happening to him anxiety boredom yeah if you feel very much bored then again your mind will won't be able to tolerate boredom that is one of the reasons the children cannot tolerate boredom if they feel bored in the classroom if the teacher is teaching that class is very boring this student will talk to the, the other student they will engage in a conversation because the class is boring now it is a disturbance a distraction for the teacher then the teacher will say no mundi poiru why they are because it is boring <laughs> it is the primarily the root cause is the class is so boring and the very same children when they watch the cartoon network it is not boring they will be completely absorbed so bored adults also when they feel bored oh no boredom is a painful emotion loneliness mind will be restless when you are lonely the mind becomes devil's workshop lonely mind is devil's workshop and all the negative thoughts mind usually attracts or invites negative thoughts more than positive thoughts mm -hmm. do you agree do you agree say a a put a negative thoughts once the negative thoughts get inside right there and that will uma sri maranji that will make the very restless so that loneliness don't take it lightly then greed greed for position power and greed for wealth constantly you will be thinking about how to make money how to make money how to cheat this one trick and everything everything and you mind will be always restless and you compare yourself to somebody else or oh, he has got that much he has got this car then okay greed i also want that one then you will be restless that is the root cause behind most of the problems the crimes everything greed Boredom makes me sleepy or restless, Mason Cooley. That is where young children, when they feel bored, they sleep. In the classroom, during my MBBS days, some of the, not some, most of the, the teachers, their class were very, very boring. And I used to sit in the back row, just a gallery type of seating. there were nearly 180 students i used to once sit in the last row and another friend of mine he also used to come and sit next to me and that guy he had a goon from kumbhakarna you know the hindu mythological character kumbhakarna who used to sleep for 6 months then 6 months he will be away he had got that some blessing or goon he sits next to me and he shakes his hand and he rests the elbows on the desktop then he puts the hand and he supports his chin so that the head won't sway fall off then he instantaneously he goes into deep sleep no snoring so i'll be sitting i i was not able to get a sleep 
I used to feel very restless, and I frequently used to look at my watch, how many more minutes left, and the time used to crawl. And when it is about to over, then I used to tap him and wake him up. So both them, I know. I suffered a lot, and I couldn't get a good sleep. Children, they get good sleep. This is my own quote. A single thought or a single challenge or a single problem could be a thought, a challenge, or a problem is enough to make the mind restless for some people. One thought is enough. For many people, multiple thoughts or multiple challenges or multiple problems are necessary to make the mind restless for many people. I'll give an analogy. You imagine a lake, a lake, very calm, quiet lake, water, nothing. And if you throw a stone into that lake, what will happen? You will see suddenly ripples. One stone is enough to create many ripples. And if you are putting more stones, more ripples. The same way, one thought or one problem or one challenge itself is enough to create a restless mind. Many problems, many. And some, some so-called psychologists and some other books, they say, every day, every day we get nearly more than 60,000 thoughts. That is nonsense. That is sheer nonsense. Because one thought will require at least one minute to entertain that thought. Do you agree? If you agree, put A. One thought, at least one minute. Do you agree? Let me help you go through this one. Yes, Roy Kiranji. Okay. At least one minute. Now, eight hours if a person is sleeping, then you have only 16 hours. And if you are working, when I was working as a doctor, I know eight hours, I'm busy taking care of the patients. I don't have any time to entertain any other thought. And the same way bank manager or any profession. They will be with that work, then remaining another eight hours. And that eight hours also you have to do many other activities. So eventually, if it is eight hours again, only 480 minutes. Now this one, 60,000, yeah, exaggeration. And many people, they don't even think, they don't even question. Actually, every day we get maybe some 20 or 50 thoughts. Do you agree? If you agree, put A. Maybe 20 or 50 thoughts, they come to our mind during the whole day. And some thoughts may be the very same thoughts. That is called worrying. Worrying is nothing but the same thought. It is a coming back and back again and again. My own quote, restless mind minus thinking skills, regression. Restless mind plus thinking skills, progression. Do you want me to explain? Do you want me to explain? Say, yes, I will explain that one. I don't want to ask you. I'll be glad to. Yes, okay, right, Jerry and G. Okay. Regression, progression. Regression is going backward. Progression is moving forward. Progression is growth. Regression is failure to thrive. Whenever a negative thought comes, or whenever there's a problem, whenever there's a challenge, when it makes the mind restless, if you don't have the thinking skills to manage that thought, then obviously you will become paralyzed. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. You don't know that fear. Okay, fear, fear, fear. Fear will grow. Fear will become phobia. 
and the thinking skills. What are the different thinking skills? I also, in the long time back, I didn't have these thinking skills. Somewhere in 1985, I came across a book, Whole Brain Thinking Skills. From that, I learned left brain thinking, right brain thinking, and the whole brain thinking. And under the left brain thinking comes the analytical thinking, logical thinking. Those are the left brain thinking skills. And the right brain thinking skills, creative thinking. So left brain, right brain, these thinking skills, then comes the critical thinking. That is under whole brain thinking. Is this clear? It is clear, put C. So left brain for analytical and logical thinking. Right brain for creative thinking. Whole brain for critical thinking. Is this clear, everybody? Only Roy Chiriangi has put clear. What about others? Give me your feedback. I cannot read your minds. Is it clear? Get the whole session based on our thinking skills, ability. The restless mind jumps at conclusions. Paramahamsa Yogananda. Yes, Rajumarji. Restless mind doesn't know how to think. Some, for some people, they don't know how to think, they will jump to conclusions. They don't even analyze. They don't even think everything through. Jumping to the conclusions, wrong conclusions, more problems. Try to know what is right and what is wrong. Then do what is right. Mind won't be restless. If you do whatever you are doing, if you are convinced what you are doing is right, then your mind won't be restless. If you are not sure, or if you do something which is not right, constantly the anxiety and fear will pester you. Mind will be always restless. Do you agree? Is this clear? If you agree, put A. Because I want to help you understand. Yes, Musamaliji. Because the right things if you do, no problem. The temptation, greed, taking a bribe, kaikuli, accepting a bribe, that's not the right thing. Then you may constantly worry whether you'll be caught. So we want to avoid restless mind. Prevention of restless mind, do the right things. That is it. That's what I have been doing. Unintentionally, I may do something not right. But intentionally, no. Egoistic parents suffer from restless minds. And they make their innocent Children also suffer from restless mind. Do you want me to explain? If you want me to explain, put E in the chat box. E, please. Egoistic parents. Right, Chiriyanji? Yes. Okay. Egoistic parents means they have high ego and their ego most of the time not based on anything wants. They want their children to become doctors, even if that child has no interest in pursuing a career in medicine. Engineer, even if that child is not good with mathematics, want their children to become IAS officers. And they will send to Delhi. And what happened? Just, you know, we know. Read this. They lose all their self-esteem. Entrance examination, how many times these neat examination? 
some children take three or four times based to three or four years. IA is also egoistic parents. Their ego to satisfy their selfish. They don't care for their children, the happiness of their children. They ignore the children's talents, their capabilities. Now, do you understand? And they are constantly restless or resulted. Need okay this time. Okay, they are always restless because they, because they want their children to become that one, and it is not happening. They are restless, and the children are also suffering. They are also restless. Okay, examination, examination, anxiety, fear, everything. Now, is this clear? Is this clear now? And do you agree? The egoistic parents. If you agree, put A in the chat box. Yes, Rashmarji. Samuliji, yeah, that is what is happening. Here also, what I preach, I practice. I'm a medical doctor. I know how much a doctor can make. And especially in USA also, we make big, good. My son, when I discovered that is certain things, his real abilities, certain things, he said, okay, he's not fit for medical profession. And he won't be able to enjoy. So I guided him to pursue a career that will suit his that aptitude and attitude. So he's not a doctor. I could have, and he studied in India after eighth grade. I could have put him in any medical college in India, private medical college, NRA quota. I have the money. I could get him admission anywhere. I did it. That is why I, when I give such talk, I speak with a lot of conviction because I'm not a hypocrite. The same thing I expect many people to do so that the children will be happy. They will be successful and you will also be happy. You will be also have a restful mind. So I have given a simple practical suggestion or solution. Compare yourself to yourself. What you are today with what you were yesterday. And try to better yourself. Your mind won't be restless. Do you want me to explain? I'll explain. Because I don't want to assume, I told you. Assumption. Compare yourself to yourself. Do you want me to explain? If you want me to explain, I put E in the chat box. So I assume that it's clear. Oh, Roger, Andy, good. We should not compare ourselves with somebody else. That is the main problem. Oh, if I start comparing myself with somebody else, I won't, I will have a restless mind. Because I know some of my friends. They have big palatial house with a swimming pool. And they have BMW car, Volvo car. What do I have? I'm living in a, an apartment. They use the Toyota car. No swimming pool, nothing. If I start comparing myself to them, then I will start feeling miserable because my mind will be restless. I don't. And again, everything, whatever I do, I compare myself to what I was yesterday. If I give a talk today, I watch the video recording. Then I look at, okay, what could I have done to make it better? The question I ask myself is, what could I have done to make this talk more interesting, better? Then I put that one into use. So compare myself to myself, not anybody else. Now, is this clear, Roy Chiranji? Roy Chiranji. So, teach the children also. Stop. There is many parents. They say, ah, putty and okay. You look at your <laughs> cousin. Look at that guy, first class. He got 100%. And right from the childhood, they make the children compare themselves to others. And then they feel inferior. They feel that they are they are substandard. That is when everything starts. 
most of the health problems. Their mind becomes restless. Every time the results come, they are, how much did you get? How much did you get? Do you agree? Do you agree? Children also, at a young age, they start comparing themselves to others. That is because of the poor parenting. Again, for my child, my son, I told him, never try to be number one in the class. That will be a lot, create a lot of stress. Try to be within the top 20% or 25%. And Albert Einstein was never a number one. Gandhi was not number one. And many other people not number one. Your own father, I will tell you, in the medical college also, I was not number one. We have Dr. Shaji sitting here. He knows. That I was not the best outgoing student, MBBS. I was not number one. And Shaji also was not number one. What happened? Did this sky fall down on us? Shaji is successful and he became the professor of neurology and the principal. And I am also successful. So this number one, number one, that syndrome, that is a comparison. Stop. Do you like this? Do you like my advice? If you like that, don't put a L in the chat box. Do you like this point? This is a take-home message. This should okay. This should stick with your in your memory. This should stick. This should be something like a tattoo. Permanently, it should be there in the mind. Permanent. Thank you, Shagarji. Talented people are restless at their core. Because people with a lot of talents, they want to try something new. They always want to try something new. Look at the actors. Mohanlal, Mamuti, Amida Bachchan. Always they will have a restless mind, but that is for the positive. So restless mind is not always bad. And they always try to, okay, a, a challenging role. They look for a challenging role. They don't want to do the same kind of role every time. So that is what it is, a talented mind. Again, Russell painting. Oh, you are talented. Okay, they want to draw something new. Or they want to do everything that is a talented mind. And they pursue that one. That is good. Detach yourself from all that makes your mind restless. Renounce all that disturbs its peace. If you want peace, deserve it. By being a slave to your desires and fears, you disturb peace. I think I don't have to explain this one. Clear. Reginish, this one I like the, this quotation very, very much. Man wants two contradictory things together. He wants peace and he is ambitious. It is impossible. If you are ambitious, then your mind is bound to remain restless. If you want peace, then your the first requirement is to drop all ambition. Can light and d darkness be together? Impossible. The moment there is light, darkness is gone. There is no light, darkness is there. Optimism and pessimism, can they be together? No. Fear and hope, they cannot. The same way, ambition. The moment you have earlier uh, ambitious, then the mind will be very, very restless. This is a take-home message. Do you like it? Again, if you like it, put L. Reginish that quotation. Worth reading. Worth remembering. That is okay, Musamiliji. Many people, they don't realize. They rat race. Ambition, ambition, this one, that one, everything. Krishna Arjuna, yes. And then they are rustlers. Edison, rustlessness is discontent, and discontent is the first necessity of progress. Show me a thoroughly satisfied man, and I will show you a failure. Now, this may create a little bit of confusion. Yeah, what he's talking about. 
He is talking about discontinuous creative energy. Edison, inventor of many things, so many patents. That one is, okay, once he created something, okay, he doesn't stop. New idea comes. And he pursues that new idea. And he tries. Again, that the bulb also. They are again exaggerated, lying. For 10,000 times he tried for the bulb. It took 10,000 attempts. That is nonsense. You have 10,000 elements. You need 10,000 different elements to try that one. And if you try one, one day, one element, 10,000 means how many years? One year, 365 days. 10 years, 3,650. 30 years. And do you know when he that one invented that bulb? When he was around the age of 32. He was born in 90, 1847. Somewhere in 1879. 32 years. This is impossible. People exaggerate, just like that 60,000 thoughts, 60,000 thoughts. This one also 10,000, and there are many quotations also. That is nonsense. Do you get it? Is it clear? If it is clear, put C. What our, I mean, Edison meant is not about making just money, not ambition. Here's that is your talent. You pursue that one. Don't be contented with that one. That is why this Mamuti Mohanlal, are they contented? Even after acting some 350 movies, they are not contented. They are look, still looking for a challenging role. Amitabh is also still looking for a challenging role. Okay, Krishna Arjun, I don't understand what you mean by no. Is it clear? Have you understood that one? That is, a, you should not be contented. And you should do something to make sure that your talents are completely utilized. Some of my, some of the, the my webinars, the YouTube, that will help you in managing the restless mind. One, distress and useless, and logical thinking, confused mind, willpower, fear. These five webinars are on the YouTube. If you watch, if you have not watched that one, please watch that one. We have watched it earlier, watch it again. That will help in managing the restless mind. Upcoming talks. There is a um, next Thursday. Victim mentality. Oh, plenty of people, they play the role of victim. I am a victim. Yeah, I am poor person. I am innocent. And everybody is Everybody is harassing me. Everybody is hurting me. That is a victim mentality. Power of silence. Then emotional gridlock. Gridlock is just like a traffic block. Emotional, that one comes, brings a block. The same passcode, same Zoom ID. Thank you for joining this webinar. Now I, we have nearly 16 minutes and did you find this session really useful if you really useful put you you do put do you really useful yes thank you and i'm okay Rashwar, i am sure that you might never have heard a, somebody giving a talk on restless mind. So this is the first time. Am I right? If I'm right, put R. Is it, this is the first time you are hearing a talk on restless mind. Yes, Samaliji, first time. So. Now questions. First, then after 9 o'clock, we can have discussion. Till 9 ask a question. Be specific. And Shaji, you should not run away after asking a question. Okay, you should sit through the discussion also. Most of the time, you ask a question, then you disappear. Okay? If you ask a question, I want you to sit through the discussion also. Okay, go ahead. Ask your question. Hmm. Uh, Rahul Gandhi, you hmm. <laughs> elevate you, leader of opposition. Hi. Uh, uh, Shaji ji. Uh, unmute. 
unmute your this one shaji ji yani ji hmm your rhodomontacti talk no Please no I, I, cannot, I, cannot, i cannot hear you well rhodomontacti talk i i don't i don't He's get it is giving me a question huh. that all these are a part or a minor major or sophisticated amygdaloid amygdaloid uh, hijack okay now i try my best not to bring the medical terms most of the people sitting here they don't know what this amygdala is and where this amygdala is if it is a group of people who know the brain structure amygdala then i will so on and those amygdala no, man, you you explain to them no no it is not <laughs> worth it is not worth spending that time about the neurological deep thing all that is required is a layman they need to know these negative emotions they can interfere they can you know, disturb your I, logical thinking i can i say an anecdote oh, okay in my in our engineering class a professor hod is are usually not not used to come to class so this hod gentleman uh, asked to a boy how will you explain enthalpy enthalpy to a layman he he stood up and said sir it is it is difficult to uh, difficult to uh, make a man make a layman to know enthalpy okay so so he plainly he answered it is in his it is unable to <laughs> do it humanly impossible the, the, the main thing is this is what i this is what my approach is always i <clears throat> try to make things simple i don't make things complex complicated i use ordinary layman's language to explain all i want is everybody knows what are the emotions those fear anxiety uncertainty they know that one and these are the things that will make your mind restless so deal with the fear deal with that uncertainty and for my friend the neighbor who is right now worried about uh, is his job and he has stopped going to the gym and he is not even taking care of many other things i told him hey, look just then i started help, i helped him think rationally what are your strengths and in the job market start aggressively have a plan b have a plan b many people they don't think about plan b have a plan b and how much money do you have in your savings and he told me yeah i have will it be enough to survive for more than one year if you don't get a job and he said yes i have enough savings then be relaxed then you keep trying if at all that worst scenario happens and update and upgrade your knowledge and skill so by doing that one oh he felt very much relaxed so that is what it is now shai ji ji is that one that amygdala hijack that fear and anxiety and he could not think the thought process came to a stand still and that is where i helped him see through and he was able to feel comfortable okay antony ji antony putan purikel you want to ask or you uh, want yes, to say something yes yes i would like to ask you um what, what do you mean or could you please explain what is uh, you compare to yourself yeah what do you mean or could you please give me some more explanation how can one compare to oneself very good for example <clears throat> now from my own personal life when i started as a tutor i didn't know how to teach then i started analyzing then i realized that it my vocabulary was poor my vocabulary was poor then i 
just to get cash. Yeah, no. You know, the Reader's Digest, in the Reader's Digest magazine, they have the word power. There are two pages. They usually have some 20 words and the multiple responses, choice response. You choose the right answer. Then you can assess the score. If it is a less than 10, it is bad. 10 to 12, something like that. Okay, fair. 12 to 15, good. Like that is scoring. My score was bad. It was somewhere around three or four words. I could not. I couldn't find the correct meaning, definition. Definition of the words. Then I realized, diagnosis. first you make the diagnosis. If there's a problem, first you must know the diagnosis. Then only you must treat. Not the symptom. So vocabulary is poor. And what should I do? Okay, to expand the vocabulary I'm talking about in 1981. We didn't have any internet or anything. So I, I realized we could hear subscribing to only Malayalam newspaper and Tamil newspaper. <clears throat> so I started buying Hindu newspaper. Then it, then I also thinking, every day editorial page. In the editorial page, every day it will be on a different topic. Today it may be about the climate, tomorrow it may be about the inflation, and the, another day it may be about terrorism, or it may be different topics. And the vocabulary, there will be some 10 to 15 new words. Then I bought a dictionary. Very good dictionary. And every day, evening after coming home, I used to read the Hindu editorial first. Then new words, consult the dictionary, write down the definition. Then I used to make a sentence. I know the word, how to make a sentence using that word. Then on the very next day, very next day, I would use some of those words in the conversation or in my class. Otherwise, what happens is many people, their vocabulary goes into the passive that one vocabulary. It is not active vocabulary. They can recognize, but if you don't use that one, it becomes passive. So use that one. And by doing that one, comparing myself to, okay, Anthony J, compare myself to myself. Then, within one month, after one month, then I compared my own, that is that confidence. Initially, I was so diffident. I was not at all comfortable. Then I realized, okay, when the vocabulary is increasing, I was feeling more and more comfortable and confident. So I worked on that one. Then about the pedagogy. Books on pedagogy I started reading. That is self-education, self-empowerment. If you want to be successful in life, the formal education is not enough. Formal education is not enough. Show me a person who became highly successful because of the formal education. I'll be surprised if you can show one person. What about this, uh, Steve Jobs, the Apple computer co-founder? What about Edison, self-education? What about this is Narendra Modi. Formal education till the 10th grade, then subsequently, after 10 years later, distance education, BA, then again distance education, MA, and whatever he knows, even language, he, 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 Gujarati, and he was not born with a silver spoon. Now he can manage, he can speak English. He doesn't need an interpreter. Whereas uh, Putin and other people, they don't, they cannot speak English. So he is able to, comparing what he was before and what he is now. That is what I mean. Is it clear, Antony Ji? Uh, yes, it's clear. Um, but I think I would like to use the word critical thinking or self-analysis. Yes, of, eventually, uh, uh, through that one, you compare. But how do you compare? By doing the critical thinking, but you compare yourself to yourself. And you find out the deficiency. What are the weaknesses and how to overcome them? And by doing that one, yes, you can get 
stronger and stronger. That's the point. Uh, Roy G, Roy MCG, is it clear for you? Yes? Right. Yes, sir, it's clear. Yes. Okay. So that is the point. But to first of all, to know yourself, the old is saying, know thyself. If you want to know thyself, you must know how to think. If you don't know how to think, you are not going to know yourself. In Bible, today we don't have anybody from outside Kerala. Because there is no critical thinking. If there is any critical thinking, they know. They will know that is what they are doing is not right. What they are doing is not right. Okay. Uh, ji, excuse. So, you were changed in the Nilla. The same way, the webinars also. Roy ji, I'm sure that he, you had the opportunity to listen to easily some 300, 400 webinars in the past uh, four years. Am I right? Roy MCG. And again, you must know that nearly 80% of them, they don't know what they are talking about. <laughs> okay, They are so confused. And if you ask them some questions, they won't be able to explain. Am I right? Do you agree? Yes. Uh, unmute. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes. Some yes. may may be copying from some other book or uh, other things, but they are not fully understood the things. But how we receive these things, the same way deliver to others. Right. That's the reason. Right. They don't compare themselves to this one and they don't do anything. So as far as I'm concerned, I uh, why do you ask for the feedback? Why am I asking in the chat box, C or anything? Because if it is not understood, I'm trying to explain. That yes. is, I don't want anybody to leave with a confused mind. See, that is why this Anthony Putan Parikalji, he asked me the question. And somebody asked also. I don't understand. Explain. And I'm trying to explain with the real life examples. And again, he brought up the point that is okay, that is critical thinking. Yes, that is a, anything without the thinking skills, you won't be able to. Good thinking skills, wrong thinking skills, that is where you jump to conclusion. Many people, they think, they think, but they don't know how to think. Edison, Edison's one quote, I don't remember the exact words. That is, many people think, they think, but they don't think. <laughs> Okay, something like that. Okay, they think they think, they know how to think, but they don't know how to think. That is it. And uh, Henry Ford also, his quote, thinking is the hardest task on the earth. Thinking is the hardest task on the earth. That is why very few people engage in it. Total for you. Monson Maungal. The highly literate, educated in the Varina Malayalan. I'll lunch in the Ola PF in the Kitty Angelisho, Patilisha Laurette, La Ponandana, thinking skill. Isn't a person simple like example where I learned to the Mansa crystal clear. Crystal clear. Yes. Yes. restless. When you don't manage your mind. I am retired and I am already some 56 and the money that is required for the rest of my life, I want to make sure that, that is, I don't lose that one. So, safe I tell you, I will give you a deal. Okay, interest rate is okay, mutual fund. Lada. Mutual fund is low risk, medium risk, high risk. That is it. It is definitely cash. The other part is the 
So thinking skills are very, very important. Now I'm going to stop the recording, but don't go away. We'll continue the discussion. Let me stop the recording.